Hey, what's up? It's Schnell, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, again, thanks to you, we're going to be going over the new full length from India's Tetragrammicide Typho Tantric Aphorisms from the Arachnophobia. Fibian Koran. I apologize in advance for any and all mispronunciations. I am sorry, because this deserves all of the correct pronun pronunciations, everything. Now, the one thing I got in advance, the cover art and this deity, 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 what, whatever, is in fact Kali, but it's a more arachnid form of Kali. Remember Kali Ma from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? Well, that's a real, like, if you, you know, look into the culture and everything, like, you betrayed Shiva, like, like, when... The end scene of Temple of Doom, I don't know why I'm going to that, but... I mean, I'm pretty ignorant, honestly, when it comes to... Like, the whole, like, region and everything, but I know they have, like... A lot of gnarly black metal bands. Iron Bonehead put this bad boy out. Like, first off, this must have cost a fortune to print. Because technically, there's three covers. That it, like, all of these could have been the front cover. Like, legitimately amazing. And black vinyl, because I ordered via Nuclear War Now, and they were... I was just happy to get a copy. But this is another reason why this is just insane. The lyrics, the booklet, Iron Bonehead obviously care about Tetragrammicide. And this is one of, legitimately, the gnarliest records of last year. Like, it's just... The drummer, seriously, sounds like he has eight arms of just blasting fury. This is so, like, insane. Like, the term extreme metal, it's tetragrammicide. Like, holy shit. Just... So much, like, just sick, sick shit. Thou art of the nature of the great void, yet thou beherit the moon on thy forehead. Tell me, wherefore did you get your garland of human heads, when the universe had not come into existence? Like, what? And it is just seriously insane how this is laid out. Everything. 
like completely blown away. Santos and Euros wrestle forever, folding and unfolding from the substrem of supreme voidness of Sliva. Like, but the prologue, it's, oh my goodness. It, this is a record. Words do not give it justice. You need to legit physically listen to this monster. And I really, again, I, I blame my ignorance. Because I don't know any of, like, a lot of the pronunciations, but, like, I understand certain words, but, like, I'm not even joking. I got anxiety because of some of these lyrics, just because, hold on. Okay, now I know this sounds stupid, but hear me out. All right, when I was younger, and even today, the way a dyslexic sees letters, I see numbers. And when they're combined, it's, oh, like, it, it just gives me this, I, I can't explain it, but like this like legitimate, like, I don't know. Like, it's like that feeling, and I never really cared enough about school to really even have this feeling, but it's the only thing I can probably guess what it feels like. And it's just, whenever I see letters and numbers, like, in you know, like a sentence. It just, I can't explain it. It gives me this, like, feeling of dread and failure. But I'm used to failure, but, like, I, I don't like that. I just, but I have no, like, 56 of not LA 13. Like, I, really, really should have hit up Tetragramma side and got to the bottom of everything here. I don't think they would have done a, a Zoom thing. Because now with this setup, if you folks want, I could start doing interviews and all that stuff. Like, I'm set with the headphones, keep it old school. Because, honestly, I do not like using these. Every time I have to use these, I'm like, God damn it. Like, I just don't like, I don't like having something, like, same with ear pod, like, it's, it's not, that's not my thing. But what does that have to do with Tetragramma side? Nothing. But, so sick. Like, again, kind of my ignorance and the fact that the only thing I really know is based around the buggy cult from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. But it's still better than going in completely blindfolded. But, like, it's so... Sick. Behold the generation of 36 emanations flowing from her lotus feet. Lotus feet. The other eye, Nia, daughter of the mother, Ania, Niana, 61 and 16, like the loom slash tantra in the double halls of manifestation. Orel knew this loom, the loom of Lila. 
and the tapestry of Newt and Kali. Also, the periodic role play between Uma and Ama. Arachnid twirls. Like, wow! And again, when it comes to like the style of just total savage, over the top, but not really, like bestial black death metal. This is like seriously some of the legit gnarliest stuff out there. And my feet, I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding cassettes. I don't have any room and I don't have any towers left. And this is a huge XL. Look at this, this thing is humongous. But whatever, it's infested, so. Hails to Eric at Last Ride Distribution, because he hooked this up. I just had no idea the XL was going to be this big. It's all good. I just don't... <laughs> I can't afford to really eat like I used to. So, it's normally two meals a day. So, I'm like 167 pounds right now, which is not good. But like once I like once the weather gets better, I, like I'll never be a hundred percent again. But just being able to go out on my bicycle daily, it's just a great way to get exercise, clear your mind. But like I can't do manual labor like I used to at the speed needed. To maintain work. And it, it sucks. Because, like, I don't, like, I like doing concrete work. I, 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 I like that, that, like, I like the fact that I'm actually doing something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I, I'm not good at, like, I couldn't build a house, like, because I, I couldn't do the fucking math. I, I would, I would fail. But same with, like, when it comes to concrete. Like, I don't know how to do the dimensions. I don't know any of that stuff. But, like, I physically, I can't do the left. Like, I, I have to do the Batman, like, the Michael Keaton Batman turn, like, to look left. Or, like, I could do that with my eyes. Like, right, fine, left, like, I have to turn my body. It, it, it's, it sucks. Like, it's not at all like that. See? Like, and I'm not, like, I'm, I'm trying. Like, that's as far as I can go. Like. Ow. Hold on. Yeah, like, I'm turning my body. I can feel my body turning. But here, it's, you know, la, 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 la. And then, yeah. So, there, there is that. There's nothing I can do about that. So that's why you just listen to a band like Tetragrammicide and escape the pain of humanity. And escape into the realms of Tetragrammicide. And this thing is just loaded with information, artwork, just very gnarly stuff. And what I'm kind of putting together here, and I don't, again, I just, I really don't want to be wrong. But, um, I know Kali again, is kind of, to my knowledge, like, a bad, like, I think it's, like, their version of Satan. 
But I'm not, again, I'm not positive. So I, that alone is amazing, honestly. Like, if this is their version of the Dark Lord, hell yeah. Like, that's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, that that's cool. Like, I love how it's, like, eating people. It's holding a decapitated head. The artwork here alone, I like, that was... And I'm not even joking. One of the main reasons I even checked this out, Austin from Outer Heaven posted a picture of, like, the LP cosmetics and stuff, everything. And I was like, whoa, like, that's the new Tetragramma side? Because, like, I, I, I really, when it comes to, like, noisy, gnarly, over-the-top, bestial black death metal, there is an element of noise. And if you're like, shut up. No, I'm serious. Like, go listen to Revenge. There's parts where it's so gnarly, it's... Pretty much, like, harsh noise. Like, uh, and I'm fine with that. Like, I remember seeing them live, and they were like, we're gonna cover a Bathory song. And I was just like... Okay. <laughs> like, that was awesome, but I have no idea what song you just played. Because <laughs> it just sounded like... <laughs> like, it was just... It was awesome. But I legitimately, I, I had no, and I'm a big Bathory fan, so I'm like, I have no idea what song this is. How do I not know what song this is? But it was just because it was played in this manner of viciousness that bordered harsh noise. And again, I, I like that shit. So at the same time where I was like, I kind of, you know, a traditional war metal version of a Bathory song is probably badass, but, like, what they did with it was, like, whoa, like, that was sick. Even though, like, like I said, I was kind of like, what song was that? But at the same time, like, the fact that it was a Bathory track and I just couldn't put it together... Like, good job. Like, that's, to me, how you cover a song. You don't beat for beat do it over. Nobody needs a redo of Hammer Smash Face. Seriously. Like, for like, you do not need to cover Bolt Thrower. Stop! Especially, Leave Witch's Coven by Mortician Alone. Like, legitimately, leave it alone. It's one of the best Mortician songs. I get it. But there's so many bands that cover it that have, like, almost no business covering it. And it's just like, I don't know. I don't care anymore. But let's take a look at the artwork again. Because I'll throw the B-side on or... Oh, wait, it's on the... I, I, and again, this is really going off of, you know the underground, you know Tetragram aside, you know what this is in advance, or you're at your local record store and you're like, what? What? Like, what is that? Well, that is an arachnid collie, like I said decapitated head, eating people, it's getting ready to eat the goddamn moon. It's, it's just, I think it's just cool as shit. Typo tantric aphorisms from the Arachnophibian Koran. I, I once again apologize for mispronunciations, but... Again, I, last I checked, there were three people in this project, I, but just, I mean, two on the gatefold, and with the poster that 
you know, is part of the February prize package. As I am filming this, February 28th. Oh, I wanted to show you some of the other cover art. So here's another version. And I don't, again, I don't know if they were like, hey, can you draw us a few different forms of the same? Again, I should have asked this stuff in advance, but I felt, I, I, I legitimately have tried so hard like, digging into this, like, to figure it out for myself, but just my refusal to, like, take notes for these videos, for something like this, I really feel like it might even get a re-review with, like, all the proper mythology respectfully covered, but, like, look at these multiple covers, like... These two embracing and carnal, like, legit, it's, like, amazing. Because, like, the sexual connection with this record and violence is gnarly. Because it's, like, on a religious type level. And... Again, like, Kali's, like, Necklace of Skulls. I only know about that from Temple of Doom. Whoever did the set design paid attention a little bit to... I, I, I'm guessing... I don't. Again, I don't know. Maybe it's influenced by that, but I doubt it based on how serious the lyrics and everything are. But there's definitely a very... Like, sexual nature to the gnarliness. And it's a lot different than, you know, like, your typical, like, Satan! You know, like, no. It's just, it, like, Absolutely just as gnarly as it gets, honestly. The Priest of Twin Towers. So much just gnarly information, like I said. And like this god or whatever is like kind of sculpting like a dong. Cobra type thing, like a phallic, like a, it's just like a phallic snake. It, it's so again, the artwork is just mind boggling how gnarly it is. Oh no, it's like a ghostly. I got it confused. The snake's head's up here, and this is like a spectral phallus. That's awesome, and I. Again, I'm not trying to even butcher like metra geometries sewn on the blue via the blue veil surface of naught. Just yeah. Like this again, very sexualized. Wine em dine em sixty nine em But like no, in all seriousness, like, wow. The illustrations go with the music. The production on here is really, like, for, for like, this type of music especially, it's really, I I'm telling you, the new Tetragram aside, is something doesn't really come along too often. Oh. 
Like, it's some dark, heavy shit right here, folks. And if you like your bestial black death with a lot of gnarly mythology, ridiculous music, and just crazy cosmetics. Just... Wow. Honestly, like... When it comes to Bestial Black Death Metal... I know a lot of people are always like, I'm good with Blasphemy, I'm good with Conqueror, and like, I, I completely understand where you're coming from, but there's so many, like, just other bands that are doing their own thing with the subgenre, and they make it different. And Tetragrammaside definitely, in my opinion, hit that mark. Like, just such, a, again, just, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. This is art. But it really is. So, again, if you are a fan of Bestial, Black Death Metal, or just you're looking for something new, gnarly, over the top, but at the same time, this never goes off the rails. It's loaded with legitimate spooky atmosphere. And you, you folks, if you watch the channel, you know when I say spooky, that's a good thing. I know it's a corny word, but it's legitimate spooky. And the fact that a lot of this record, again, remains a mystery to me, it, it's just, it's awesome. But the music speaks for itself. But at the same time, my ignorance and, you know, not knowing, not being bilingual and whatnot... Because, like, there's a lot of stuff. I Like, the, the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita, I, I, know, I, I swear I know what that is. I bow to that one goddess in the form of self-consciousness in whom this universe that appears as an external objective existence in the state of manifestation shines on the disappearance of agitation in the state of unsurpassable reality. It's awesome. It's seriously awesome. Artisans of double current. So we have David Bidia on drums. Drums recorded at MK2 Recording Studio. Recording and mixing. Um, Entropy Muroti. I'm sorry. Vocal production. Whoa. Akash Singha. Mastering at a Crusader Studio, which for some reason sounds extremely familiar. Um, but the mastering job is by uh, Louis Fontaine. And the artwork, like Kali Newt on Tesseract. Kabal. Kabalia. I'm sorry. Oil painting by Orrell Defense Straight. Like, he did all the paintings, but then the 11 automatic drawings by Brian, Brian uh, Media. Other artwork is by Orrell as well. And then there's even more done by uh, Quian Medella Grafhex. The logo, in collaboration with uh, Graphex, is by uh, Brian Mattia. Layout by Dan Fried. Dan Fried, Dan Fried. I don't know. I should know that name by now, because I say it enough on the fucking channel, you know? But, seriously, 
This is... Like, look at... The, I guess this is another picture I just... What the fuck? Just, um, it, it's insane. And again, I, I legitimately... Wish I knew more about, like... A lot of the content here. These transmissions are true. These transmissions are false. These transmissions are both true and false. These transmissions are both not true and not false. It's not like being um, pretentious. That's the word I was looking for. And I know some of you might be like, well, this sounds like a more pretentious Titan blood. That's the only band I can compare this to. Like, I, I was thinking about it for a long time, too. I was like, okay, if if you have to compare Tetragrammicide to anyone, who are you going to pick? And first thing that popped in my head was, well, Titan Blood 7 Chalices. Yeah. Like, it was just like, kind of... Like, so pretty much, imagine, yeah, like, that's probably the closest, in my personal opinion, when it comes to, like, hey, if you like this, you might like that, it's, it's tight and blood. So hold on one second, it's just right here. I could get death as well, but I'm going to grab seven chalices, because I'm going to throw this on the turntable after today's video, but my Night Hag demo, yeah, <laughs> I was looking for that, but like with Titan Blood and R.I.P. Timo Katola, like, to me, like, that's honestly with, like, the artwork, everything. The first thing that popped in my head with Tetragramma size, again, was Titan Blood and their connection they had with Timo Katola, who they even said was kind of, like, another member of the band. Like, oh, uh, Spectral Voice said the same about Manifestor. Like, his artwork and stuff, like, goes with Spectral Voice just as much as the music does. So, for those of you digital heads, uh, but again, like, the uh, arachnid type thing, like, with the spiders, it was just the first thing that popped into my head was Titan Blood. But also, just the booklet, all the gnarly... Just amazing religion, kind of like kind of religion based. Well, yes, very, very, just pure fucking evil. Like, I'm pretty sure that's Pazu, Pazuzu, whatever, the demon of the southwest wind, or at least a depiction of him, or whatever it might be. But, yeah, Titan Blood, to me, the, along with, like, how savage, I love, love this, like, I, art is hard, people. Anti-Crystal. But, again, like, just so insane. Listen to Titan Blood. Like, seriously, listen to Titan Blood. If, for some reason, you're new to this channel, go watch all my Titan Blood videos. But, that was legit. Like, the first thing that popped in my head, especially when the record arrived, I was like, whoa, this is like a new Titan Blood record, but like, not really. Like it, is, like, it is and it isn't. You get what I'm saying? It's its own thing. I mean, I'm sure there was some, like, 
hey, that kind of sounds like Titan Blood, but, like, that's an awesome riff. I have a feeling, like, maybe... But, hey, I have no idea. All I know is I'm definitely listening to Seven Church. Uh, did I say Seven Churches? I meant Seven Chalices. I apologize if I said Seven Churches. I was listening to Possessed earlier. And, uh, yes, I legitimately apologize if I called <laughs> Titan Blood Seven Churches. Seven chalices, oh, bleh, which again, I apologize. But listen to Titan Blood. Hey, Titan Blood, Tetragrammicide. They both start with T. <laughs> but honestly, one of the sickest records of 2023. Whoa. Did not mean to do that. And I mean that in multiple ways. So definitely check out Typho Tantric Aphorisms from the Arachnophibian Koran. And I once more apologize to Tetragrammicide for all mispronunciations. If I got any mythology wrong, I 100% apologize because this is a beast and deserves all the attention given to it if you're going to dive into this because it's again the music it's the same with like titan blood the music almost sounds like it's about to go off the rail sometimes but it gets taken back in and just crushes you like a worm and we'll end with that Tetragrammicide's latest typotantric aphorisms from the Arachna Phibian Koran. I know I said that like nine different times. I like the little spider up there. But Iron Bonehead put this bad boy out. And this must have legitimately cost a fortune. Like to release this bad boy. So... Yeah, if you like, again, like, legitimately, if you're a fan of Titan Blood, I really think you're gonna dig Tetragrammicide. If you don't, you can blame me, and I'm sorry, but, yeah. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly shit. And today's video would not have been possible... Without you maniacs as well in the Patreon that were like, this rules, try and grab it. <clears throat> Mission was accomplished. And yeah, we get to enjoy some Tetragrammicide. So, thanks for watching as always. I did not mean for this video to go this long without having the proper, again, mythology and everything about the new Tetragrammicide, so I apologize in advance. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Supporting the channel, even if you're just watching it, means a lot. And real quick, I have, right here, from, I, I don't know what tour this was, but it's American Nightmare with Converge. American Nightmare plays three songs. And then there's a fight. And... Yeah. I, that's all I remember. But there's definitely... Like, I gotta get this to Sonny at Hate 5 6 or something. Or somebody that has a... Uh, VX or something, so I can make sure this is labeled correctly. Because I have a few old tapes that, like, I want, like, I know one has, like, a Life Once Law, like, a Life Once Lost, the Minor Times, and, uh, I know I have, like, a, I have a Bad Luck 13 set. All Else Failed back in the day when they had two vocalists. Like, a lot of hardcore stuff from when I was in high school. But, anyways, 
the new Tetragram aside, get into it on Iron Bonehead. Thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.